Hi, I'm Samantha Clayton, fitness expert and former competitive sprinter and working with Herbalife to help you achieve a healthy, active life. When I see someone with big, bulging bicep muscles, I love saying, welcome to the gun show. Now, I may not always say it out loud, but I do think it every time. Now, the bicep muscles are what I often call vanity muscles. Men especially will often judge their fitness level based on the size of their biceps. And as a woman who loves to wear short sleeves, I must admit that I enjoy a good bicep workout too. Many upper body exercises involve the bicep muscle. And because the bicep works in partnership with the triceps muscle at the back of your arm, you can get a great full arm results with just a few simple moves. So pick up a set of dumbbells and join me as I go through a set of my favorite bicep building moves. But first, we're gonna start out with a simple bicep stretch. So stand with your feet shoulder width apart, a nice tall back and place the hands in the small of your back and make a fist like so. Pull your elbows gently back to stretch out the bicep and then relax. We can do this stretch five times to make sure that you really warm them up. Just one more stretch and then let's move on to a simple tricep stretch. So you want to take your arms up overhead, put one arm, bend it at the elbow and place the opposite hand on top of the elbow to feel a gentle stretch in the tricep muscle. So just hold for a few seconds, make sure you keep your chin up as you stretch. Come back down and then let's repeat on the other side. Great job, now let's pick up the weights and start out with a simple double arm bicep curl. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart, a nice straight back and we'll do 10 in total. Your timing's gonna be one second up and three second countdown. Start with the weights at your sides. We're going to come up and then come back down. So one second up and then count one, two, three as you come back down. All our movements are slow and controlled. And try to keep your elbows tucked into your sides. One second up, three seconds down. Keep it going. Remember to breathe throughout the whole exercise. One second up, three seconds down. You want to make sure that you control the weight on the way up and on the way down. We don't want to rely on momentum for any of our exercises. Okay, great job. Now this time we're going to switch the grip so that your palms are facing back and it's called a reverse bicep grip. This time our count is going to be three seconds up. So slow on the way up, one, two, three, and one second down. Coming up for three, and one second down. Keep it going. So the whole time, try and relax all the other muscles in your body to make sure that you're just working the bicep and tricep muscle. We're halfway there. And you can just do as many as comfortable for you. I always try to stick with eight to 10. But if you can just start out with five, that's fine too. Three up, one, two, three, one second down. Nice job. Our next move is a fun combo move using a medicine ball. But don't worry, if you don't have one, you can use one dumbbell instead. It's a bicep curl to overhead press to tricep drop and back to the starting position. Count with me, it's a six part move. So bicep curl, overhead press, tricep drop, back to the top and down we go. Up to the top, down we go. Now it's great to do combo moves because it works your brain as well as your body. Great job. Keep it going. Keeping your core nice and tight, making sure that you don't hit the back of your neck with the medicine ball or your weight on the way down. Just always slow and controlled. Pushing the weight up and back. 
try to really minimize your lower body movement. Keep it going, remember to breathe. You can do this move with really light weight or you, as you improve you can pick up heavier weight. Great job, just three more to go. Pushing up and back. This move works biceps, shoulders and triceps. Now let's give me one more move. Great job. So now that you know the moves, we're going to start again, but this time we're going to reverse our timing. So pick up your weights, and this time we'll do our bicep curl with three seconds up, one second down. So three seconds up, really slow and controlled, and one second down. Count three, two, one, one second down. Notice how I'm rotating the weights as I do it. They go down at my sides, palms are facing my sides, and then as we come up, the weights face the chest. Elbows are staying in to your sides. One, two, three, one second down. If you can only manage four or five, that's fine. Just really master the move of keeping the rest of your body still, making those bicep and tricep muscles work hard for you. Give me one more. And down we go. Now let's do our reverse grip this time. So palms are facing your body and we're gonna come one second up and three second count down like so. So we're coming up and then slowly down. Again, making sure to rotate the weights, keep the elbows in and then slowly down. I really like reversing the grip. Just play around, same move, working just very slightly different tendons. Really control on the way down. Try and keep all the tension out of your neck by a big smile. And just work within your own range. All of these moves. You can just do at home. You can do them when you're on the go. Just carry a light set of weights. I'm gonna give me one more. One second up and a three second down. Great job. Let's finish up with our combo move. Again, we go bicep, shoulder, tricep, back to shoulder, and down we go. We're just gonna do 10. Simple 10. Again, the whole movement is controlled. I'm focusing on keeping my core tight throughout the entire move. I have a nice athletic stance. Feet shoulder width apart, core's tight. And I'm just really focusing on keeping a nice smooth rhythm. You should really add combo moves to your routine because it makes your brain think, think it's a six part move. You have to think, use your brain, work on that coordination. Last one. I hope you enjoyed this simple bicep routine. You can increase your weights and progress to a barbell for a slightly varied challenge. If you don't like using weights, you can use a resistance band instead. If you have access to a modern gym, try doing these bicep exercises while sitting on a preacher curl bench. Doing bicep moves in a seated position will prevent you from using any natural momentum, forcing your biceps and triceps to do all the work. Let me know how you get on in the comments section below.